You know, last night he was talking at his rally, calling this impeachment light. That was the exact terms he used. And I thought, what an w- interesting term. And I think that's, I, I'm sure someone said that to him. It's impeachment light because it's not a whole bunch of counts and it's kind of, it's specific yet ambiguous. It's specific as to the actions, but ambiguous as to abuse of power. It's not a crime. An obstruction of Congress, not even an obstruction of justice. So maybe he's processing this in a way where he can just deal with it. So what? I'm impeached. It's impeachment light. Yeah, and nothing, I'll tell you, the, 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 the obstruction of Congress is really huge. I mean, I, I don't think we're paying as much attention to that as we should. But basically, I'm, I'm in the process of putting a piece together right now, which talks about a coup. Everybody thinks of a coup as an outside force overthrowing or, or uh, taking over right. the government. But you know what? We have three co-equal branches of government. One branch can attempt a coup by taking over or delegitimizing another branch of government. And that is exactly what Trump is trying to do. He's trying to delegitimize, take over in a very real sense, the legislative branch by saying, you ain't getting witnesses, you ain't getting documents, not from OMB, not from state, not from defense, not from energy. And these are documents that are not just relevant, but incriminating. These are witnesses who could sink Trump. And he is saying, I do not recognize the authority of of the legislative branch. That's an internal coup. That is one branch of government taking over another. And boy, that obstruction of Congress, article of impeachment. If the Republicans are like, this is okay, then I'm sorry. We are creeping toward the end of our republic. 